ready to jump into Bookworm 5B. So for library people, what I'd like you to do is head off to the library, grab a book. Once you have your book, read outside, but read outside alone and by yourself independently. For captains, uh, captains people today, I'd like you to shred paper out in front of the classroom. And for games people, uh, the multiplication game for speed law multiplication. Remember to keep track of who the winner is because at the end of the week we're going to have a final competition. Also, for leveled reading, we have our bookmarks right here. If you started on your bookmark, it's in this pile. If you have it, here are the templates. I'll keep them up here in the basket. Also, your homework <laughs> comprehension, questions 1 through 9. Uh, please do questions 3 through 9 on the back. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Does anyone have any instru uh, questions? Yes. Um, what is the thing that we're supposed to copy on the back of the bookmark? You can look at your old bookmark. This is the uh, finding the main idea bookmark. But if you go to your old bookmark for recalling facts and details, the letter to your parents will be the exact same, but you'll put finding the main idea on it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Um, not for the people who are leveled reading. Raise your hand if you're leveled reading people. Okay. If y'all haven't finished it, if you finish this, go straight to your bookmark. But if you haven't finished 1 through 9, then you can continue on that. Does that make sense? Yes. And lastly, before y'all head off, I need to see whoops, some people for a little long multiplication, just a quick review. Alia, Sasha, Fortune. And Edward, y'all meet me up at the whiteboard with your math books. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? No. All right. Let's go. This one on your own and make sure you use your place value. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. 
Yeah, you can stick it down there with the others. It's the okay. It's recycled okay. paper? Yeah. Yeah, just stick it with the others. Thanks. No, I have Give those guys a few more seconds. All right, dudes, who wants to help me out? All right, Sash. Oh. All the steps, please, all the steps. Seven and six is 42. What do I need to do with the four? Carry it up to two. Carry it up. And two and six is 12. Okay. Three and four is 16. Raise your hand if you got it correct. Are you tougher than nails? Yes. Yeah. Python and Cobra status? Yes. Yeah. You didn't get it correct. I got it correct. Oh, good. Last question though. What do we call this right here? Product. V product. Product. All right, y'all ready for one more harder one? If you get it right, I'll let you out. Thank you, Mrs. M. <laughs> See if you can pull this one off. This will really lead you into Cobra and Python steps. Remember your Cobra is steel, your Python is nails. Wrong side. Oh, I had the wrong side. Okay, I'm going to let y'all try this one on your own. Hi. What are you doing over here? Reading. Reading. What? What are you reading? I'm reading uh, mysteries. Okay. And why are you reading right now? Because it's my turn. Mm -hmm. The teacher said so. Sorry. The uh, teacher said so. Okay. Right. Brilliant. Hi guys! Three what are you doing over here? Playing a multiplication game. And Jinx! Three times five, fifteen! <laughs> so what's the game involved? What are you doing? Three times five, fifteen. Uh, like, we have to turn one of these, roll the dice, and then you have to do like four times two. Okay. <laughs> Whoever gets all of them right wins. Wow. Uh. Okay, so are you enjoying this activity? Yes. And what are you learning from it? Multiplication. Uh, multiplication. Multiplication. Yeah. Multiplication facts or just multiplication? Mm -hmm. Multiplication facts. Brilliant. Facts and details. Malcolm, you didn't finish. <laughs> it's easy. Who's next? It eight times That's four. That's me. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Malcolm four. is after McLean. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Hi, what are you up to? Your reading a book. Oh, is this book from the library or is it from your classroom? It's from home. From home? Okay, so are you enjoying your book? Yeah. yeah. Do you like reading on your own? Yeah. Yeah? Got it, dude. If it's double digit, you always got it.
got to. You got it. You got it, you got it all in? Awesome. All right. If y'all get this one correct, I will let you go to your groups. This is, no, it's not a bonus. Here we go. 47 times 13. Hey guys! Hi! What are you up to? Why are you doing this? To save the environment. To what? Make the environment. Okay, and you're making bro briquettes. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you learning from this? Uh, human rights. Human rights. <coughs> so people can live. Uh, some people are cutting down trees to make briquettes. So we're using the recycled paper to make briquettes that you can cook on. Okay, and are you selling <coughs> these briquettes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Burn them. You're going to burn them. But are you selling it to people? Yeah, yeah we yeah. have They're a gonna fund sell. When it sell. We might we're have gonna a get the money and the, <coughs> it's literally you talk. Like we're going to get the money and we're going to do to help the poor people, people to do the people. Poor like people use the uh, blessings. The children blessings, uh, to fundraise for the children. But do you always sell these or do you? No. So no. We get, we get get we it, give it to the, the staff. The uh, staff. The staff sometimes the staff some, come and they take it to meet them. Or mm. maybe we might do a fundraising. We yeah, might we were supposed to do a fundraiser for children of blessing. Yeah. Box. We did, but then we didn't sell any. Did we? No. So how does this make you feel when when you're shredding paper? Fine. 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 And is this paper? Where do where are you getting these pieces from of paper other from? Classes. They bring it to our class and then we shred it. The and then after we put it in the bin and then, so then we soak it in water. water. So it's easy to make the For and then mini. when we are making briquettes, we take one marker, but we don't use markers, a PVA pipe, a shredded paper for one to two And those aren't things that you can push in. And you have to. And then after that, uh, you take the, in our class, we take the paper out of the bin and uh, put them in a red bucket. <coughs> and while we're doing that, we start making the briquettes. We put the paper inside the PVA pipe and then we start squeezing out the water. But we shouldn't squeeze out too, too, water, too much water, otherwise the briquette will become dry. Yeah, and becomes hard sometimes, like that. sometimes um we like sometimes we get, take shredded paper from our house and then make bouquets at the house and give it to our staff at our house. And did you learn that from here, or did you used to do that before you? Came? No, we learned that about when when you we had the transformer. And he told us that we, instead of doing it all the time at school, we we'll start doing it at home. We have also done like we get clothes from our house. We have to put it there. Oh. The when clothes, we, we see the clothes we don't need and we just keep outside and it's too small, so we come and bring it up here and uh, we give it to the children of the desert. When Im is done with him, you can show her some of the projects in the classroom. Hey, dudes, did y'all show her the briquettes? Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. just talking about them. Right? Oh, what did you say? Well, it's about how we make the briquettes and um, why. Why? Yeah, why are I we didn't know them? what they were until I came here. Oh, cool. So why Never are we making seen them? those before. Or for other people. And uh, sometimes the staff come and get them. But if we use briquettes, how do we help Malawi? The um, of cutting down trees. What do we call that? Deforestation. Deforestation, very good. You guys are hammering away at those IB attitudes by shredding that paper. Awesome, cool. I think I have another student who would like to explain a project. Okay. Sasha, can you explain the rights of the child, UNCRC? This is our UN convention. Um, the for the rights of the child. We we tried to squeeze it in because we had to go to Walla. Um, so 
what happened is here is the articles. Where? Where are the articles? Around the sides. Okay, let me get close so we can see these articles. So read one of them out to me. Um, children that have handicaps should love and be able to rely on more people. We had to use them in our own words. Mm -hmm. And um, and then here we took some of the here we drew um, what we thought was like was most related to the article. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what did you learn from this? Well, we were trying to learn about the. Um, what? How many articles are there, sweetie? Um, 54. Yeah, and, what, and who wrote them? Um, the UN Convention. Good, and why did they write them? Um, because it, they, it, the UN Convention was at a year after World War II because most of the children had to take battle and they and they weren't having their rights, and um, and most of them were getting injured. Yeah. Can you tell answer one more question for us? A trick one. Do you know the two countries who didn't sign the UN Convention? America for child's rights? and so Somalia. Somalia. Perfect. Awesome, dude. Well done. Wow, Great, America didn't sign it. Yes, the U.S. didn't sign it. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Elma, Elma wants to show you one more thing. We've got a, uh, our Ivy Attitude posters. Um, this is an Ivy Attitude poster. Mm -hmm. we, um, we wrote it for Listen to the Wind. The book is over there. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Ben read us the story. So it was supposed to... Um, um, the attitudes, the Ivy attitudes, we had to relate them to the story. So he cut them out, we, he gave us a paper, and then we had to see which one best fits, which the main character was Dr. Greg. All right. Can you show us some that made the Great Wall of Fame as well? Okay. So, which? I think the ones in the Great Wall of Fame yeah. are over here. These were one of the best ones. Oh. This is one of the best ones. What you have to do that and in the middle you have to draw a picture. And these are about dollars. When you do really good work, they give you a <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sweetie. Awesome. Good description. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed your 10 or 15 minutes for a lesson with 5B. Thank you very much. Thank you, Em. Cheers. <laughs>